Is it possible to reassemble documents that have been sliced and diced by a shredder? The answer is yes, but it depends on the type of shredder used. Older model machines shred paper into long, thin strips like this. Inside Edition staffers tried to get an idea of what the FBI agents are facing as they attempt to reassemble the Michael Cohen evidence. And we were able to decipher parts of the shredded strips. I got a word. What do you got? I have Campbell. But some more expensive shredders leave paper in smaller pieces because they cut horizontally and vertically. Those pieces are very yeah, difficult, but not like impossible to here? reassemble. Here's How do you see oh, words? I see, I see nothing. I see batch total. Here's somebody's uh, check number. There's actually software that reconstructs shredded pieces after they've been scanned onto a computer. Then there's this high-tech machine that shreds paper into tiny confetti. Well, you can't make out literally anything. Attorney Randy Zellin has worked on cases involving we sensitive have, documents that have been shredded. This is the confetti. This is the, are you kidding me? This is not the fun moment for the special agent. But porn star Stormy Daniels lawyer Michael Avenatti says he expects Michael Cohen's Michael shredded Cohen. documents to be reassembled. Assembled. Well, from what I've gathered, uh, Michael Cohen was so cheap that he didn't uh, invest in a cross-cut shredder. He had a different type of shredder, so they're in the process of going through it from what we heard in court today. What secrets the documents reveal are to be determined, but it sounds like Cohen may be wishing he sprang for a new shredder.